Okay, so now what we're doing is we're getting into um, how to do linear programming, and we're doing this just the geometric way. So this is section 5.2, and section 5.2 will lead us into linear programming. So 5.3 is all linear programming, which means you're going to know what to do as soon as we're done with 5.2. Okay, so 5.2 is just, again, uh, graphing inequalities. Now we're going to graph more than one equation. So what happens is we, we step into the systems of linear equations. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine system, systems of linear equations and graphing inequalities. And we're going to put them together. And, and they're going to work very nicely together. So what we're going to do is I wrote these out in different colors. And this is a really good technique. So if you have any colored pencils, two different colors of pens or a pencil and a pen, try to keep them separate because you're going to need to go back to, oh no, which line is which. So if you use the same color, it can get confusing on which line. We do have up to three or four lines, so you definitely want to keep them uh, separate. So you want to be able to uh, pick very quickly which line goes with which equation or inequality. All right, so just like 5.1, um, you're just going to use the cover-up method. You're going to look for the x and the y-intercepts. You're going to identify, is it a solid line or a dotted line, which means the, the points um, are not included in the, in the um, solution set. And then um, we're going to shade. So exact same thing. Now we're just doing it twice on the same equation or the same, the same graph. So I'm going to start with my green, green inequality. It's 2x plus y is less than or equal to 10. And I do everything matching colors. Okay, So I'm only working with the green line. So the green is the y-intercept is 0 and y equals 10. The x-intercept is when y is 0 and x equals 5. Okay, So 10 divided by 2. So again, cover the first one up. Cover my x value up. That's when x is 0. So y equals 10. Cover my y up, which makes y 0. And solve. 2x equals 10. So you have 2x equals 10. And so you're going to solve. So x equals 5. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here to my graph. Notice I'm only working in the first quadrant, which is indicated by x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. So x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. So I'm only in this first quadrant. So that's why I only have the first quadrant drawn. So now I'm going to fit my line with my x and y intercepts. So I can go by 10, I can go by 2. Um, the, larger the, the, the larger the graph, the easier it is to work with. So keep that in mind when you're setting up your intervals. So I'm just going to do this by ones. <clears throat> so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So my x-intercept is 5, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My y-intercept is 0, 10. I have less than and equal to, so I have a solid line. And you're going to pretend like this is straight. Okay, so you want straight lines. And then I'm going to do my test point. So my test point, again, is 0, 0. So that will always be the test point. So I end up with 0 is less than or equal to 10. This is a true statement, which means I'm going to shade where the 0, 0 is. So 0, 0 is right here. That means I'm going to shade everything underneath the line. And notice I'm shading just from the line down to the x and y axis, because I don't care about what's going on here. All I care about is in the positive reg region. OK, so here's where this is different than from 5.1. 5.1, we would have been done, all right? 5.2, now we have two equations that we are going to graph together. Where the two shading intersect, that will be the solution set or the feasible region. So let's do the second one. So my second equation or inequality is x plus 2y is less than or equal to 8. I'm going to use the blue. 
to indicate that one. So I'm going to cover up the x, which makes x 0. So 2y equals 8, so y equals 4. And again, all I'm doing is I'm just solving a, an equation. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now I'm going to cover up the y and get my x-intercept. So x is going to equal 8. So when y is 0, x is 8. Now I'm going to come to my graph, and I'm going to graph it. So I have the x-intercept, 8, 0. So there's that x-intercept. Y-intercept is 4, 0, or 0, 4. There's that point. It is a less than or equal to, which means I have a solid line that I'm going to connect my two points to. I'm going to pretend like those are straight lines. And now I'm going to do my test point. So again, the test point is 0, 0. So I have 0. This all goes to 0. 0 is less than 8, which is a true statement. Since it's true, I'm going to shade below my line. Okay. Now, if you look really closely, the double shading is right here. So I'm going to indicate that in red. So where it was double shaded was here, down here, and over here. Here it's not double shaded. Here it's not double shaded. So where the shading overlaps, that's your feasible region. That's the indicator that, OK, the, only the points in here will satisfy both of these equations. And that's the, that's the dilemma when you're working with two or three inequalities, is you have to have what area or what feasible region will satisfy both equations, OK? So when we were working with systems of equations, we worked with um, uh, elimination, all right? So what we're going to find now is what's called our corner points. So this is new. This is the new part of 5-2. All of this you've done before. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find our corner points. So what the corner points indicate, and this is where, this is the application part of it, what the corner points indicate is the maximum or minimum values that we can use. Maximum or minimum. They only happen at the corner points. So what I mean by the corner points is the corner points of the feasible region. If this in red is my feasible region, I have a corner point here. So that's 0, 0. I have a corner point here that's on my blue line, and I erased it, but you should have it, is uh, 0, 4. That's another corner point. Oops. I have a corner point here, so that is my green line, and it's the x-intercept of my green line, which was 5, 0. And I have a corner point right here. That point right there is where the green and the blue intersect. So we have to find where the blue and the green intersect. Well, we do that by using elimination. And that goes back to the systems of equations. So we're going to go back to working out a system of equation. And since the shading is done, we no longer have to worry about the inequality. So I have 2x plus y equals 10 and I have x plus 2y equals 8. This is my system of equations. And I'm going to use elimination. Now, you can use substitution. You would have to solve either for y or solve for x. It doesn't matter which one. So you can use substitution. But I like elimination better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this second one through by negative 2. So I end up with negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 16. And then I'm still working with the original green equation. And then remember with elimination, as soon as I set it up where 1 is positive and 1 is negative, I'm going to add the 2. So I end up with negative 3y equals negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 3, and I get y equals 2. Okay. Now remember, I want the point. Okay. I want that actual point. So to have the point, I need an x and a y. All I have is y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this back into either of the, of the original ones and figure out my x. So I'll just plug it into the first one. So I have 2x plus 2 
equals 10. So I, all I did is I substituted my 2 into here, because y equals 2. And now I have a two-step equation that I'm going to solve. And x equals 4. So this point right here is the point for 2. So that is our fourth corner point. And as far as that goes, for 5.2, that's as far as you have to go, okay?